Welcome back to the 9446 Network for another die cash review. And today we're going to be looking at Bubba Wallace's white DoorDash Toyota Camry for 2311. Very, very interesting die cast uh, for Bubba Wallace. We know we got the red one earlier in the year, which is becoming a rare, a rare die cast to say the least. So to have the white one released is really cool. And I'm a Bubba Wallace fan, man. I love getting Bubba Wallace cars. And I mentioned it in my last Bubba Wallace review. If you haven't done that yet, check that one out. This is... I love getting cars for Bubba Wallace. He, he is definitely a driver. I'm a, I am a Chase Elliott fan. But I also am going to probably start rooting for Bubba Wallace too. Because I also really like Bubba Wallace. I have a list of favorite drivers. And you guys know, Bubba Wallace is a part of that list. And I'm starting to rack up Bubba Wallace cars. And I mentioned last video... That I'm planning to get more of his cars because I'm a Bubba Wallace kind of half fan that wants to get more of his die cast. And this is definitely a starting a starting point to that. The white DoorDash. Oh, it's shipwright. I don't know what that is on the front of the car there. 23, 2311 Camry. And you've got a chip there. Uh, Toyota Camry. DoorDash in red with the Wallace Toyota. Kind of this, thing, this car kind of looks like a DoorDash gift card. Because they have like white gift cards with a red D on there. So you got Wallace Toyota right there. Uh, Sunoco. NASCAR race car. NASCAR Cup Series. NASCAR race car. Bob Wallace 23. DoorDash. McDonald's. Dr. Pepper. Columbia Mobile One. Oh, damn. Another chip there. You got Camry. DoorDash. XSE right there. Facebook and, and Twitter on the this die cast. I wasn't expecting that. 23 uh, DoorDash, uh, 20 uh, Toyota. So you got 23 Toyota right there with the white box Toyota logo. Looks good with this car, actually. Root Insurance right there on the deck lid. Wallace and 23. Paint scheme is pretty much the white backdrop, which is the spray painted this car white. This car ran at Martinsville and I want to say another track, but I'm not quite remembering. And the Texas car was this car with the gold numbers. I don't know if we're going to get that one released. Black outline, white outline, and a fully black number fill-in for the 23. This is starting to become an iconic odd uh, NASCAR number font, this 23 here. Paint scheme. This is where we're going to start the comparison here. So they, so where, it's, where, where it is white on the red car, it is red on this car, which it starts out the front next to the little uh, air vents on the front end. And it pretty much continues on to the side skirts. And then it switches up and back around, back across the rear quarters, which is a really sharp, very modern type of paint scheme. This car definitely stands out. I really like paint schemes like this that just stand out in a unique way. They're not overdone, but they work. And that black on there... It kind of like a darkish grayish black look to it. I'm not, I'm not sure it's just my eyes or the camera, but it's kind of looks like a darkish blackish grayish mix. But it kind of swooshes like that across the side where it says DoorDash. Very clean and very sharp. White wheels would have looked good on this as well, by the way. So it goes across the rear quarter and then towards the back. And it cuts off where the little trunk lid is at. And it's pretty much the same all across the car. And guess what I like about this car? Bam! beautiful red spoiler on there. I really like how that looks. That is a sharp, sharp look for this car. For Bubba Wallace. I really like that. That looks sharp. The red spoiler looks very cool. If the Toyota's had the big spoilers, man, that would have looked cool if it was a big, giant red spoiler. But that's really it for the paint scheme. It's a simple one at that. In fact, I really like the simplicity of this car. It's just a black and red swoosh across the side. Of both of them, both sides of the car. And in the gold series of the black roll cage, this thing looks sharp. This thing looks like a really sharp race car. And I really like that for Bubba Wallace. This thing is really cool. I'm going to do a comparison to the red one. I'm going to put them side by side. As you guys can see, it kind of reminds me of the Hot Wheels cars where they come out, come out with a paint scheme for a particular mold. And then for the second release, they alter the colors. That's kind of what this is. But there are a couple handful of differences that you are going to see. Like the roof number, size. It's a couple sizing differences on a few things. You guys are probably going to see. You can see on this side as well. 
everything seems a little bit smaller, a little bit sharper, leaner, and cleaner on the white version of this car. I'm starting to notice that a little bit more. Dr. Pepper found their way on a different spot of the car. So just a couple of things are moved around. Uh, Columbia got on the white version, while this one so far does not, um, judging by the comparison so far. Just a couple handful of things have changed. Back is DoorDash. DoorDash. Oh wow, this car actually did have Twitter and Facebook on. I didn't even notice that until now. So they both have the Twitter and Facebook. Almost everything the same, but just recolored. This is where the big differences are. Check this out. So not only is the spoiler color different, but the deck lid sponsor is different. So Columbia used to just be on the deck lid, and now Root Insurance took over that. So I'm not sure what kind of contractual stuff took place with that. But you could definitely see the different uh, deck lid sponsors for these Michael Jordan race cars. And of course, the roof color is way, or the roof color, roof size, number size is a lot bigger on the red. As you can very much tell the size difference there. Much smaller on the white than it is on the red. But yeah, everything seems a little bit more cleaner on the white paint scheme. Just cleaner, everything's a little bit smaller. As you can see in the side-by-side -side comparison of these two cars. I'm not sure which one I like more, to be honest with you. The red looks very, very, very cool. I like the red. But the white kind of looks a little bit more sharp. I'm not sure why it is that way to me. But this car, it looks a little bit more sharp. More clean. Uh, nothing is too overdone. And the red, same thing. It was, this paint scheme altogether is just not a paint scheme that's overdone. Um, but everything seems a little cleaner and better sized on the white version of this car. I don't know. I, 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 this is definitely going to be a topic that's going to be for the comment section if it, if it opens up. So you got Toyota 2311 Mac Tools. Uh, I believe those are the exact same as the other one. Oh yeah, once again... It's shortened out. It's made a lot smaller. So pretty much this die cast, it's the same as the red, but the white is where the red is. And, you know, all the color switches, except the black. Black stays where it is, but the red and the white change. And I believe the red that they used is different as well for this car. It's a little bit more orange, more a little bit more on the orange side with the red car. But with the white, that's probably the decal. You know, paint, when you paint a car, you get more of an exact color. But when you wrap it over, like, a different color, it comes out a little funky. Uh, not the exact red, but I'm pretty sure in real life, the reds would have been the same had you had these two cars side by side. Uh, but honestly, I do like this car. It is definitely a beautiful car. I'm going to give you a 360 view of it. Interesting right there. There's a couple differences I didn't even notice about until now. Uh, mostly things are getting smaller on this die cast. Um, so that is really it with this Bubble Waz car. Hope you, hope you guys enjoyed this die cast review. Bubble Waz is DoorDash White. And we'll see you guys in the next die cast review. Comment, like, and subscribe. The window is a little bit more uh, crooked on this one than it is on the red. That's another little difference right there. Uh, but thank you guys for checking this video out. Uh, comment, like, and subscribe for more Diecast reviews on the 9446 Network channel. And we will see you guys in the next video. And always remember to make sure you know what you're doing when you're putting decals in your diecast.